Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. All right, welcome back to the channel, Model Rockets 321. Hit that like button if you've been coming around here and subscribe if you're new. Do both. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you get updates when I drop new videos talking about the mighty Saturn V and other rockets. So, all right guys, I am complete with this build for the most part. As you can see, the, the retro rocket's not on yet. The All the other stuff is built though. This is it right here. What's on this table is what's left. RCS nozzles, retro rocket, shot cords, Couple shot cords here already built, screw eye, and parachute's gotta be built. These are they didn't come complete, so you have to do your thing. So I'm gonna build those. And this everything you see on the table is all that has to be done. The main build is complete. All the tunneling, all the raceways are all in place. Launch lugs are in place because I'm gonna fly this baby. I'm gonna fly it. I'm gonna launch this rocket. I like this little mechanism they use here. You had to mount this little hook, bend the wire, everything. Skill level four, definitely skill level four stuff. New beginners, you may struggle with that stuff, maybe, unless you're just inclined. But, you know, overall, solid build. Um, Definitely a skill level four rocket. I, you know, opted to use the 3D printed fins and shrouds. All the raceways are on. You can, they wanted you to fill those before glue them on. I filled them and sanded them. But I'm gonna probably hit them with some more filler. And there's a couple areas like I have it has its issues. It's, it's overall I did a good job, but it has its issues. Like there's a gap here, um, probably bigger than it's supposed to be. I have a gap there, you know. Um, but I'm like I said, I have to live with it. It's nothing. Um, it's not a huge deal. And right here, I was gonna cut it and just to see something if it would lay down if I cut it. I believe if I could take a little, probably a millimeter off, it'll sit lower. But I decided against my better judgment to just leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it be. So once I spray prime it and spray it, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I can live with it. But everything else is fitted, you know, pretty good, fit it perfectly. You had to sand, like the technique you had to use here, I'd never done before. You had to sand just a little, probably half a millimeter, just to get this to sit on top of this shroud up top. And um yeah, just sanding stuff and getting things beveled. And um it's it's pretty good. I'm going to go back and I'm going to be filling some gaps. Like there's a little gap, small gaps here. I'm just going to fill those in the best I can and sand. And that's going to be the next step probably. Just getting all those kind of little things worked out before I start going to primer. And there's an option to not fly it without the tower, but pow, with, uh, excuse me, without the tower. But I will be gluing the tower on and I will be flying it with it. Just like the real one. I want to fly without it. I want to fly with the tower on. And I noticed this tower sits a little crooked, so I'm going to be filing. Um, it sits weird, so I'm going to be just filing it and getting it to its to its perfect. Yeah, you can see a little angle there, but I'll, I'll get it right. I think I got to tilt him back this way until I get it right. I'm going to get that right. So that's just another little thing. But the mighty Saturn is all complete as far as the build. It's all complete. I mean, it's there. Take this off, um, but. So I glue it. But yeah, everything is cool. Everything's in and it's it's together. I'm going to do a little reinforced glue in here because I've had some motors Kato and it blow this piece. So I'm just going to make sure I'm just going to line it with a little more glue. It's it's a lot in there already, but I'm going to add a little more just for my own own safety and security. Just want to be just want to be sure. But I want to be flying it on some Aerotech, you know, E's, E15s, possibly E20s. What do you guys think about the E20 in this? Um, drop your comment because they recommend D thir D12 13 no oh, wow, D12 3 and that, that's not happening I'm not doing that <laughs> even though it flies well with that it's a nice scale little low lift you know low low speed launch is cool but I'm going to go with something just a little more power so this is my mighty Saturn build these are the last of the parts RCS nozzle the retro rocket is over here now swivel Shot cords and those three parachutes. Cool. It's going to be cool. Can't wait to fly it. All right, guys. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check the links. Buy yourself a Model Rocks 321 t shirt. 
And when you do, send me a picture. I'll put you on my Instagram. All right, guys. Talk to you later. The Mighty Saturn Five. Peace. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.